Good day everyone. Let's start our discussion with this question. What is the total number of cube inside the fingers? So we have, uh, let's start with uh, this Rubik's cube. So we have nine cubes in the upper part, then nine in the middle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine in each row. So we have three rows. Therefore, nine times three, we have 27 cubes. And in this prism, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then there are four rows with ten cubes in each row. So we have ten times four, we have forty cubes. Now, counting cubes inside a figure deals with volume. Volume is the amount of space or the total number of cubes inside a solid figure, and it is measured in cubic units. Now, our focus in this lesson is to find for the volume of prism and cube. And it is easier to find for the volume of a solid figure if we have the formula because that serves as our guide to get its volume. Now, let's watch this video on where does the volume of a prism come from. In this video, we're going to discover where the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism comes from. As we did in our last video where we were discovering the formula for volume of a cylinder, we're going to peel away the sides and focus on the base. And since our base is a rectangle, we're going to look at the area of that base, which is length times width. But rather than assume that we know why area is length times width, let's go back and look at what the length and what the width really represent. So first off, for the length, we can really pick any one of these sides, either the two vertical sides or the two horizontal sides. In this case, I'm going to look at the two vertical sides and I'm going to call them my length. This leaves us with our two horizontal sides, which we will call our length. Let's put some numbers into this formula to give us a little bit of context. First, we'll begin with a length of two, which means we're essentially going to be cutting this shape, this rectangle, in half horizontally. Because our length has a value of 2, we're going to substitute 2 in for L in our formula. For our width, let's sub in a value of 3. That means we're going to be cutting our shape vertically into three separate pieces. This also means we're going to be substituting a value of 3 for the variable W in our area of a rectangle formula. By counting up the number of unit tiles in our 2 by 3 array in our diagram, or by multiplying 2 times 3 in our area formula, we can see that the area of this particular example is 6 units squared. Taking a look at one more example, if our length is 4 and we divide horizontally the shape into 4 pieces, and then look at a width of 6 dividing the shape vertically by 6 pieces, we're going to get an area of 24 units squared. Now that we've looked at some examples for finding the area of the base, let's take a look at how this will relate to the volume of this rectangular prism. As we saw in the volume of a cylinder video, the area of the base is essentially the volume of this rectangular prism with a height of zero. By increasing the height to one unit, we can see that we now have some volume to this rectangular prism. We can then increase this rectangular prism to a height of 2 by multiplying the area of a rectangle formula by 2, followed by increasing the height to any value by using a variable. In this case, we're going to use the variable h. And thus, the volume of a rectangular prism can be found by multiplying the area of its base times its height or, in other words, taking the length times the width of the base times the height. The link of the video is also in the description part. Now, the formula for the volume of a prism is multiplying the area of the base times the height, or we say length times width times height. Now, if the prism is a square prism, you may use this formula area of the base is s squared times the height okay and if it is a cube since the cube 
uh, the edge of the cube are the edges of the cube are equal, then we can use the variable s instead for that represents the side. So since the length, width, and height are equal, so we have here s times s times s, or simply s cube. Let's have more examples. So we have here find the volume of the figure. So the figure is a cube. So for the cube, we use the formula v is equal to s cube, and we substitute the value of the side or the measurement of the side which is 4 centimeters so we have 4 centimeters then you uh, multiply it three times so we have 4 times 4 times 4 we have 64 you also multiply the centimeter times centimeters times centimeters so we have cubic centimeters so again if it's volume we use cubic units so whatever is the unit in the measurement Next, we have find the uh, volume of the figure, which is still a cube, and using the formula S cube, we substitute the value of the side, which is 6 centimeters. Then you multiply it 3 times, so 6 times 6 times 6, we have 216 cubic centimeters. Next, we have find the volume of the figure, which is a prism. For the formula of the prism, we have length times width times height. So we substitute properly for the length of the prism, we have 22 inches. For the width of the prism is 12 inches and the height of this prism is 12 inches. So we substitute and we multiply the three measurements. So we have 22 times 12 times 12. We have 3,168 cubic inches. Next, we have find the volume of this figure. It's still a prism with a measurement in fraction form, with some measurements in fraction form. So using the formula, length times width times height. So the length is 7.5 inches, or we can write 7.5 inches. For the width, it's 4 inches, and for the height is 2.5 inches. Okay, so we multiply the three measurements, so the answer is... 75 cubic inches next we have this word problem an aquarium is 18 centimeters long 14 centimeters wide and 8 centimeters deep how many cubic meters of water does it contain when it is half filled so what we're going to do is this since this is a prism we use the formula length times width times height so we substitute the given for the length it's 18 centimeters for the width is 14 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters that's for the volume of the prism or the aquarium itself now to find for the volume of the aquarium that is 2016 cubic centimeters but take note that here there's a given here that uh, it is half filled already. So the question is just how many cubic meters of water does it contain? So what we're going to do is to divide it into two since it's already half of the volume of the aquarium. So we divide into two and the volume is 1,008 cubic centimeters. So it contains 1,008 cubic centimeters of water. Next, we have how much water is needed to fill the container completely. Now, this container forms or forms a prism, okay? And the container has already uh, water in it. So the question is, how much water is needed to fill the container completely? So since this is a prism, we use the formula length times width times height. For our length, we have 65 centimeters. So for our length. And for our weed, we have 45 uh, centimeters. And for our height, okay, is only 12 centimeters for the height. So we only need this from here to here. Because this is what we're going to fill. And we substitute the given, we have 65 centimeters four times 45 centimeters times 12 centimeters. Then we multiply the three, we have 35,100 cubic centimeters.
So our answer is it needs 35,100 cubic centimeters of water to fill the container completely. Again, if you might ask where did I get this 12 centimeters, I got this since the height of the container is 20 centimeters and there's already a water with a height of 8 centimeters already. So there, that's the volume of a cube and present. Okay, so that's about it. I hope that you learned something from this video.